This is yo, Jet yo. with Pop Austin Media, and I got artist D Brooks in the building. How's yo, life, yo, yo. man? Hey, man, we good, man. We maintaining, counting our blessings, staying true to ourselves, staying healthy. You know what I'm saying? Hell Trying yeah. to get wealthy. So that's all you can do. Healthy. <laughs> that's and all you can wealthy. do, bro. Like that's really all you can do, and just you know, I'm trying to make great art in the process, man. How y'all doing, man? Shout out, shout out, uh, Pop Austin Media, man. Shout out y'all. Shouts out to you. Shouts out to Austin. Shouts out to the artists out here that's doing the thing. Yeah, for sure, man. How y'all doing? I'm doing great. Grinding. I mean, hell, we was rocking out to your stuff before here. I like what you got going on. Appreciate the preview. Appreciate you giving me exclusive. I can put that that into my workout Rolodex. So we good. Whatever you gotta do, bro. Yeah, I appreciate that. Hell yeah. Driving the whip, pumping iron with the chick, go crazy. You just never know what you're doing. Rolling up, getting high, getting (laughs) getting low. (laughs) Let's start from the. (laughs) Let's start from the beginning, though. Where you originally from? Uh, so I was originally I was born in Abilene, Texas. That's like okay, that's way up north, right? Uh, that's west. Like that's way west, tumbleweed and shit like that. Like, what do you mean? I thought that was north because I go that way. I thought to go to that's like past like love it. Like, yeah, past love it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. no, nah, that's west. Yeah, it's west Texas. Um, I was originally born out there. I was out there till I was about like nine or ten years old, and then I moved out here. So I'm I'm basically from Austin. I spent my adolescence out here. So I'm basically from here. Uh, and yeah, I ain't never left. So Austin's dope, man. It's just it's a lot of a lot of dope opportunities. We call it the new A. I've been saying it a lot. Yeah. Make, watch out for us. We the new A. Mm-hmm. Um, how was childhood? Um, I thought it was dope, bro. I'm real, I'm a real introverted person. Like, uh, I really like, I don't know. I didn't really like fuck with too many people. Like I was just always kind of like doing my own thing. Like I was always like really musically inclined. Like that's kind of what I always like fell in love with once I kind of got like my hands, like my ears into it. Like that's kind of something that I just always wanted. You know, I stayed in school, got good grades, you know, graduated all that good shit. But just in the end, I knew like music's kind of like my thing, like what I wanted to do. So uh childhood you know it wasn't too bad it was pretty cool just always kind of on my path of doing what i do now just making some some timeless some incredible incredible music so um <clears throat> what high school did you graduate from did you uh, play any sports cedar ridge uh high school uh i know you said you, you i played a little like bit of basketball i did a little bit of hooping i can still hoop a little bit it's been a minute uh but I, but, but you're yeah. more creative and yeah, yeah yeah yeah. i was doing like more like film and shit like music theory like shit like that like i was in a band and shit like that that shit was fire uh, until like marching band, like I was like, fuck that shit. Like I'm not trying to like no. <laughs> march and exercise and hold. I was playing trombone. Oh, you got to do some I'm crazy like, stuff. Oh do some workouts still. Yeah, yeah. Run, run, run with morning, those. I'm yeah. like, bruh, you serious right now? The two like, a days as a as a yeah, bruh, I feel you. Heavy ass trombone. It's cold <laughs> as shit. Like y'all want me to do marches and shit? Like, bruh, no, I'm out. Like, and then you can learn that shit on your own. Really, like. That's when you, that's like, you know, you can start figuring out you can do shit on your own. So it's like, I don't know, you don't really need that shit. So um, I've always been like a student to the game, like always just trying to learn, learn more on music and, and how to evolve more. I feel like it's important to just stay ahead and always want to want to evolve. So. And then you said what high school? Uh, Cedar Ridge High School. Cedar Ridge, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. okay. And then that's in where? Uh, that's Round Rock. That's Round yeah, Rock, yeah, yeah. That's what I was about to say. I thought that was Round Rock. Yeah, yeah. Make sure. that's up north. Sometimes they got the same school name some places. Mm-hmm, yeah. Um, and then when did you like like start taking music seriously though? Like, do you uh, remember like your first studio session when you actually kind of you know went out your way? Yeah, I say like like super serious. Like, I, I feel like this is this last project I dropped was like the perfect example of like me like like, oh, like so this is like really I'm here recently. Like okay. I had I had some other releases on platforms. Like those are cool or whatever. You know what I'm saying? They still get streams or whatever but i say for me like as an artist like like this is my representation of like who i am as a as an artist is that last project that dropped like those seven songs like and not even that one even before like change your life i don't know if you heard that but like mm-hmm. it's like over 10k on youtube like you know what i'm saying like hold on, i'm gonna put some respect on your name real quick so i can get the numbers right hold yeah. on give me two seconds hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on, hold on. i had it up but this dead gum thing is yeah. trash okay so uh I saw your Spotify streams. It looks like, am I wrong? Yeah. Or this is just probably, yeah, yeah, this is Spotify. 88.1K. Yeah. And then you got listening, 70, uh, 65.8K, 23.8 hours, and 147 countries. Yeah, bro. I saw that post. Let's talk about that. Since you, you know, brought that up, I just thought I'd kind of segue that. 
Yeah, bro. So it's crazy, bro. Like most of these, like the beats and shit. Like I've been getting like a lot of international pool, like 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 overseas pool and shit like that. So you got a sound that can yeah, translate bro, around. Like, and you can dance crazy, too. You can do bro. a lot of things to your songs. Yeah, bro. And like shout out, the, <laughs> shout out all those producers. Yeah, no, nah, for sure, for sure. But it's like shout out those producers and like the people that like hitting in my DMs, like fucking with my shit, like listening to my shit or posting my shit on their TikToks or. You know what I'm saying? Whatever else. And, and, like, that's just dope. And I think that's especially dope in my case because that's, like, I feel like even when you blow up in the States, it's kind of a little hard to get an international pool because I feel like they are kind of a little picky of, like, how they but want But once they sound. rock with you, but once though, they rock with they're, you, like, obviously. especially coming from the U.S., they really rock with you if you, you know do it right. You know what I'm right. saying? Exactly. Obviously. So Eminem like, goes the Norwegian, wherever it is, Norway. Yeah, they're bro. Going crazy. Yeah, bro. Exactly. So, and, and, and I don't know, that just kind of humbles you in a sense because it's like, they're not like us. So it's like, that shows you, like, you're not doing shit that's not, like, the status quo. You feel me? So it's like, I don't know. I just always, like, I get influenced by a lot of, like, outside forces, more than inside forces. Uh, more than anything, because, I don't know, I just, like, it's, it's just about staying true to yourself and not, you know what I'm saying, just caving into what's going on or what the familiar sound is, but being able to adapt, too, because it's, like, features, for example, if I do features, I'm able to, you know, to adapt to, you know, whatever the sound is or whatever it is, so, like I said, just staying, uh, being a student to the game and staying versatile, like, that's just key. So, what, um, keep talking, so what does, um, where do you get a lot of your, you know, your style from? Like, do you like what was your first <laughs> genre that you listened to? Was it hip hop or did you like kind of ease into hip hop and then kind of not saying you do really hip hop music? Yeah, I yeah. would say yours is like a blend of a bunch of things. So I'm just bunch curious, shit, like, bro. what is it? I can't really pinpoint which is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. nowadays there's really shit, like bro. genres are kind of just blended in. Even it's in a box. Pop feels like at you know there's gonna have a bass hip hop drop somewhere. Yeah, man, it's just it's um, a, it's a so box. like who 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 would you draw? I know you, it seems like you got a fusion of mm, a bunch of different people. Okay. I can see rock, I can yeah, see yeah, pop, yeah. I can see R and B, and I can see some rap like yeah, some. Okay. Yeah, I yeah. mean, don't give me like some Uzi yeah, or you know because yeah. I fuck with Uzi, hell, you know, that, like yeah, that bro. that album with the P, P's and Q's. I fuck with that Crazy. album. Crazy. Um, no. but yeah, um, what money longer and all that? That's all that my shit. shit. Fire. So, but Melody yeah, crazy. yeah, I love that. I love that EP. That's my shit. In but, the whip, um, stupid. But uh, uh, so like, who do you draw inspiration from, or is there like? Uh, I mean, like the first like music I ever listened to that I we talked like a little bit really, about that before. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Tell the people. But I feel like the first like the first like album that actually like got me like influenced was probably like uh, Kid Cudi's like Man on the Moon one. Like, that bro. first Man on the Moon was nuts, bro. That shit is an experience, like. As an album, soundtrack, bro. Like, yeah, soundtrack it's, it's a whole to my soundtrack, life, bro. All that. Like, literally, bro. Like, and that shit was timeless. Like, did that have Pursuit of Happiness on it? No, it did. God dang, yeah, that it one did. That one was a classic. I think. No, it did. If that's the case, it had a classic. Either way, bro. Like the first two in general, bro. Like those are timeless. Like that music still lives on to this day. And when was that shit released? Like I don't know. Oh nine, ten, eleven, long around there. Yeah, that bro. shit. That first man on the moon was ridiculous. And that shit sticks, bro. So day like, and night, I know that was on there. So that one. That a shit, classic. like I take influence from that shit, bro. Like you know what I'm saying? Like timeless music, like shit that's gonna live on. Like my last project, like I expect you to still play that shit like a couple years down the line. Bro. Mm-hmm. I can you know see. What I'm saying like I can see the Cuddy influence. If it's not the whole thing, like you're gonna play a track off of it. You feel me? So it's like. I don't know. That's what I draw influence from, and like I feel like that's what like motivates me in the studio too, and like just helps my creative process. Is like just making that timeless music, not making no mediocre shit, not shit that's gonna just be here now and gone for later. And uh, some shit that's gonna that's gonna last. You feel me? So, and that's kind of like how I'm making my album. And like I feel like that's why it's taking so long, cause like I want to just be like that moment. You feel me? Like really like I'm here type shit. Cause mm-hmm. it's gonna be my first full length. Instead of like seven tracks, I think I'm putting like fifteen. Okay, shit. so you're going like I'm breaking it. it down in volumes. It's gonna be like three different volumes, okay. and each one is like a mood or like a like a different high is what I call it. I feel so you. I got it broken down like five, five, and five. So maybe you got some turned up stuff, and you got some exact, maybe no. some heartbreak stuff, and then maybe you got good. some I don't know aggressive. I'm just making up three. No, I'm not saying you got. It's those, gonna be crazy, bro. I'm top. telling you, bro. Yeah, I'm calling it a uh, room of vices. Uh, yeah, man. Y'all just stay on the lookout for that because like. That shit's gonna be crazy. I dropped the first single. It's called uh, "Change Your Life." That was the first single off of it, and then I dropped the uh, a second single off of it, uh, which was like the first pop track I released, and it was uh, featuring the homie uh, Charlene Jones. She's fire as fuck, but she's on there as well. And uh, yeah, it was the first tracks I, I dropped off that project, and yeah, it's been fire, especially that one because it's like my first like pop track. Like, 
I'm oh yeah, hair on like, no nah, man, the pop radio. No, no heck shit. yeah, yeah you like it's dope. that crossover pill. You can. Play and then it the anywhere. first one was just a straight like hip hop. You know what I'm saying? So, I think the next one I might want to drop like an alternative type shit, like the. I'm saying R&B. Nah, yeah, yeah you can go all over the yeah, place. Yeah, man, I like, like that. Yeah, multifaceted yeah. in the yeah, genre. Yeah, man, it's important, bro. Like it really is. That's how you're gonna last. Like, you know what I'm saying. Yep, you gotta adapt with the times. Cause like I said, adapt, nowadays bro. it's just a fusion of a bunch of Don't stuff. Don't outdate, update. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Like, like even people that can't sing, not saying you can't, but there's people that can't sing that still you can are, find a way. Yeah, you can On find God, a you way can. with technology like, nowadays. Everybody. You can find a way, bro. It's you know what I'm saying. That shit's within you. You feel me? Like that's how I feel. So. It's either, you know what I'm saying? If you know, you know, you know what I'm saying? But you just all be, you can always be a student to the game and, 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 and figure shit out. There's never not too much you can't not learn. So I feel like that shit's, that's what, uh, that's what it motivates me in my creative process. Does, um, I take it D Brooks, that's just your name. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. you just ask people where their name comes from. So yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Well, so my first name's Darian. Yeah, Darian so Brooks. Just, yeah, just yeah. D. Dot Brooks. It's yeah, just, yeah. It's easy shit. And it sticks. Like it's yeah, it sticks. D Brooks. Well, nobody got Rolls it. off the tongue. Yeah, man. It's easy. It's so. two syllables. Yeah, it ain't too hard. A lot yeah. of the times, only certain people can get away with like four. <laughs> Party next door, like three. Yeah, like crazy. some shit like that. Like, yeah. that's some crazy shit. But mm-hmm. that shit, yeah, that shit Some things work, though. You just kind of let it go. Yeah. Oh, that person does it. Yeah. But they got to have have some type of something that comes yeah, to the yeah, table. Yeah. He's with Drake. You have so to. Yeah, you have helps. to. I hope, okay. I hope so. Um, so talk about, um, okay, so, shit, I'm going to make sure I got this right. Um, talk about, uh, I guess, uh, When I'm Awake at Night. Talk about that EP first. Uh, Yeah, man, that's just like. Yeah, I have to write. That, that's that's kind of just like, just a little like prequel to like Room of Vices, like kind of the shit I showed y'all, like. It's kind of a, like a cinematic like experience, like sonic experience of like my life, like the shit I'm talking about, and like the, you know the shit that I'm going through and the shit that like I feel and want to want to talk about. Like that right there is like the perfect like representation of what else is to evolve with that same type of uh, type of concept. So who did the artwork? Uh, the artwork, my boy, uh, DX actually. Shout out him. Um, I found him on IG. Yeah, he, I like uh, that. I yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out him. It's like DXX IG. You got the bats in there too, kind of like you know, yeah, represent bro. Austin. Austin Uh-oh. got bats. It's crazy. Yeah, bro. Well, I love like the bat theme, like the vampire theme. Like, bro, I love that shit. I watch a lot of horror films. You got like, some Batman up in here. You yeah, know, hey. I don't know if you oh, rock oh, with that. Batman hey, or not. Oh, they, oh, they just dropped the drop, the new one, right? Damn. That's the. People, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. That one's dropped. Oh, I think shit. today. Okay. Um, but yeah man like that shit is just like i don't know it's just like a real just uh just visual or not visual but uh just sonic like representation of like the type of artist like i am and what i bring to the table with the shit because it's all types of like different moods where you can't really place that shit in a box and, like that's how i feel like you know I no it's like nowadays you about. really can't it's like fused yeah. together like i said yeah, it yeah. may have more influence on some things but there's going to be something yeah. in there. yeah it's mostly going to be hip-hop and pop yeah. and some a little bit of rock mm-hmm. maybe yeah depending on who it is yeah i fuck with all that shit bro literally bro like i listen to all that shit from the pop to the rock <laughs> yeah studio going crazy um yeah anyway yeah so <laughs> pause disregard all that can I keep rolling? No. Oh, Alright, we're gonna pause. We're gonna do some edits. Hell yeah. <laughs> no, we're gonna cut it. Did you answer? I did, but let me get some more. Some of them damn spam callers. Spam calls and shit. Let me know when you're ready. And I can kind of segue it back in. Alright, we back. Uh, oh, so have you been? I see you smoking. Have you been to any weed states that's legal? Bro, I really I haven't really like been outside of Texas. Like, I don't know, just smoke it like it's legal. So, you've I never been out there? I it's like a candy to. store. Oh, I bet you literally just walk in. I well, would never want to leave. I, I'll say it's like a candy store, but it's still like a liquor store. So, you got leave. options you can choose from. Yeah, I all right. Leave. I'm gonna give you a quick game if you go to like Colorado or um, California. They're going to give you the, the normal, like, you know, full bud prices. Mm-hmm. And if you're, you know, of course, depending on what you're going to do, but ask for the shake. You mm. get stuff like half off for shake. Because oh, it's basically okay. just a trimming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's and it's, it's pe- people that's in, like, California or uh, Colorado and whatever else, they get kind of 
bougie, so like, I want a nug. They don't <laughs> us. We don't give a fuck. fuck. <laughs> like, yeah, we we get what we can get in Texas. Man, so I'm just curious if you've been out there. But if you ever go out there, <laughs> ask for the shake. Okay. That's a good game. That's nobody right there. For sure, yeah, for that's sure. what it's saying. It's going to be way, way cheaper. Nah, just smoke it like it's legal, whatever. It's, Hell yeah. It's, it's Austin. Like it's only a matter of time. Yeah. What do you think? Like, do you think it's a matter of time that Austin gets legal? Like, <sighs> I don't know. Because I know, I, I know Texas is going to be one of the last, but it's I think be Austin. One of the last. But I think Austin is a good, like, ground for Texas. I guess a starting Texas. point. Yeah, I can see that. Because Dallas, that. Cats is wildin'. Houston, Cats is wildin'. Yeah. I don't see San Antonio doing it. Austin's more hippie and weird. Mm-hmm. I think Austin's going to be like, the, if anything, like the stomping grounds. Because there's like Schulenburg, I think, that has some, uh, it's like a random Pohick town in um, Texas because there's a lot of those. But they're like, I think they got like a like a growing house. It's like more like medical type. Okay, but I see. Well, it's starting. Right and then Oklahoma's got a lot of um, medical too. Okay. So it's only a matter of time mm-hmm. before the, the South sees that there's money because they're not going to be able to deny. Yeah. Like hell no, we're taking the bag. Like, what are we, yeah, what are we not? they're yeah. gonna go crazy. Uh-huh. So I think they're gonna find a way around it. But I was just curious about that. Yeah, nah, hell yeah, man. But yeah, smoke it like it's legal. That's hell all yeah, fun. smoke it's it like it's legal. That's, that's the, the fun Austin part. Way. That's the fun part. Shit. Um, so uh, <clears throat> where can we find you at on uh social media and all that and the DSPs? Uh, D dot Brooks. Yeah, just D dot Brooks. Spotify, title, Apple Music, wherever you fucking. Some shit at the real D Brooks underscore on IG, mm. real D Brooks on Twitter, uh, the real D Brooks TikTok, all that shit. You can find me wherever. You know what I'm saying? That's what you got for South by. Yeah, you beat me. South by, uh, I don't know, man. I ain't really got too much plan other than just like being in the studio. I think, uh, got some like exclusive shit happening on the 12th that I'll announce like soon. But uh, it's gonna be some dope shit, uh, that I think I'm gonna be in on. So just be on the lookout for that. Uh, other than that, probably just making music, honestly. Getting ready to drop, honestly. I'm about to drop another project. I think I want to drop it in, like, the next few weeks. We'll see. So you're going to be more just working on, on the... Yeah, the music. music on the album. Just fucking, yeah, just working on shit. Probably doing a little bit of networking. I uh, feel you, because you say you just now started taking it seriously your last project. Yeah, bro. Stuff, I just so be low-key. I just no, be in my no, own world, bro. No need like, to rush it. But yeah, ne- the next bro. South by... Well, next South by... Yeah, you're going to definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they're going to get some, especially yeah, yeah, yeah. with the music that you yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just saying. They're going to listen and be like, oh, yeah. You yeah, know, yeah. the white people, hey, well, they can dance to this. <laughs> no, for real. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, bro. So just, just steady, bro. Just working, bro. Just like keeping at it. and He's just so working cool. Like, I can dance to this. <laughs> yeah, you already know how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real, though. But uh, yeah, bro. Just doing, uh, just working on music. Like I said, I probably got like this exclusive like performance coming up. I just had the one. At Mohawk, that show was fire as fuck. Yeah, Shout out Mohawk, that show was crazy. That's dope. Uh, Mohawk's big. I like yeah, Mohawk. Yeah, bro, that show was fire as fuck. I did like a bunch of shit off the album. Like, yeah, everybody was rocking with that. Like, that show was that show was dope. That show's always dope to see like people like really fucking with your your vision and mm-hmm. your art and like especially when you stay true to yourself, bro. Like, ain't no better feeling than that. Like, exactly. Than people like nobody can you know can nobody duplicate, duplicate that exactly, exactly. You took yeah, the words right go. out my mouth damn <laughs> no nah, god but literally man can nobody duplicate that so and i feel like that's always the best because that's what's gonna last man you just stay true to yourself man and i like that like i said yeah. i can tell that yeah, comfortable man. in your own skin yeah bro matters uh, you know what i'm saying wear your heart on your sleeve man shit i rock with yeah. your music man like i said i appreciate those two exclusive tracks but bro, we also oh god bro oh god we laced you up with some stuff. Hey, bro. This is an official South by. This is your. This is the first. Hey, like we going. We got some crazy merch coming hey, out man. now. Shout so out Pop Austin, bro. that's the Austin official right South here. by edition. Hey. On the back, you got you a gotta South rock, by. You gotta rock with him. So yeah, you know what I'm saying. Rock. Be in the studio, going crazy. Yeah, do whatever you do. You know what I mean. Do what it do, baby. You know you how know it go. Say, you know how it go. Pam, you we see us out here. We outside with it. We out. We outside with it. You see yeah. us out here. We grind. Yeah, shout out y'all, man. Nah, for real, man. I just been working, man, and that's what I'm gonna continue to do. Just continue to give y'all some dope ass music, man. Like I said, I got so much fucking music in the vault. Like some we like I'm to just hear like, that. Yeah, bro. I could just Keep drop working. today, man. But it's like, man, I just like to you gotta have a I whole. Got. I know it's it's a whole process. Yeah. You gotta do that. You gotta come perform that um that that record for our South by thing. Yeah, bro. we're gonna we're that's gonna always fun, bro. we're gonna I be in your to. inbox soon hey. about that. Hey, I'm, yeah, let's go. Shout out to y'all, man. I'll be there. We'll, y'all y'all we'll look out shit. for that. We got some turned up hey. shit coming up. I'll this is you know. I know y'all been seeing the performances and whatnot that we have on here, but this one's gonna be you know we're working on some crazy shit. So let's go. Yeah, yeah. 
gonna we gonna get it we in. We gotta have D Brooks in this thing. So D dot Brooks, that's where we can find you at on all social media, all DSPs, all that good stuff. Yeah, y'all yeah, go stream sure. that uh, when I'm awake when at I'm night. When I'm awake at night, go to stream and change your life. What the, what the go, hell go, you go, doing? Go, go, go stream. Uh, get a tag. Go stream. Go stream all that shit. Go you can find me on YouTube shit. too. Go yeah, watch yeah. Go life, all yeah. of those. I did some live stream performances. I put them bitches on there. If you just want to see like, you know, how to look. Get down I hate to say it. Follow on Instagram. Go to the link tree. Go just follow. Just go. Do all that bullshit. Hit link tree. Link tree makes it easy for y'all. Literally. Well, I know there's there's different ones, but link tree. I think the other ones like I forgot what it is, but you know what I mean. Yeah. You already know, yeah. Link so tree. let's get it. That's where, that's where, that's <laughs> it has all them links right there. on there. Nah, let's get it. No cap, man. So just be on the lookout for that, man. A lot of dope music coming through. Like, should I show them? And like, a bunch Hell of other yeah. shit. Drop some rock shit in. So be on the lookout for that for sure. That shit's going to be so fucking crazy. But uh, yeah, just be on the lookout for the moves that's being made, man. We're just trying to evolve, stay next level with this shit. Hell yeah. Do the shit for the culture, bro. For like, the culture. Pop Austin Media for the culture. Deep Brooks for the culture. Hey, right look. Now. Appreciate you coming through, my bro, guy. We're going to be keep bro. looking at all the stuff you do. Hey, hey man, Shout this is Austin, Jet. Bro. Shout out to Pop Austin. Hey, this is Jet with Pop Austin Media, and I'm signing out. D. Brooks. You know what the fuck When I'm up, awake bro. at night, stream that bitch now. Stay high. Let's go. Let's get it.